Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. Sue, come on out and say hello to our friends. Sue, I'm glad to see you today. Achoo! Sue, did you just sneeze? God bless you. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat and you can listen to the story for today. Has anybody ever said God bless you to you when you've sneezed? Well, in our story today, there's a man named Abraham, and God said he would bless Abraham, and in his family line, he would bless us all. So we're going to be reading in our Bibles, and I'm going to be reading from the very first book of the Bible. So if you close your Bible, and if you open the very front of it, you'll come to the first book. It's called Genesis. It starts with the letter G. So I'm just going to read Genesis 15. It says in verse five, and he brought him outside. So God brought Abraham outside and he said, look toward heaven and number the stars if you were able to number them. Then he said to him, so shall your offspring be. And he believed the Lord. That is what. God told to Abraham, he said, look up at the sky. Can you count all those stars? Well, that's how many children you're going to have, Abraham. And your children are going to be blessed. And one day, a very special child, Jesus, was going to be born from Abraham's family. Well, today, let's read a little further. In, I'm going to read in chapter 17, in verse 15, it says, As for Sarah, I will bless her and I will give her and I will give you a son by her. Let's continue reading. In Genesis 18, verse 18, it says, Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. So that's what the Bible says, that God made a promise or covenant with Abraham, that his descendants or his family would be as numerous as the stars. And one day, a very special family member, Jesus, would be born from that family line. Well, we're going to make a craft today, so let's head over to the art table. We're going to make a star projector. For today's craft, we're going to make a star projector. So what you need to do is just get a paper cup, use a push pin to poke holes in the cup, okay, and you're done. You can shine a flashlight into the cup and project stars on the ceiling. You can see them here on the table. One final thing, if you'd like to, is you can get this printable at the link below. You can punch a hole and tie a ribbon to the card and punch a hole in the cup. So you can tie the card onto the cup so you'll know what this is for. It's a star projector. And this is also great Sunday school teachers for you to use for your class. And by putting the card on here, it has directions and a summary of the lesson so that parents know how this works. So a fun game that you can play today to kind of help you remember the story is take a Kleenex or a piece of toilet paper and try to see if you can keep it up in the air. <laughs> Remember, Sue sneezed at the beginning of our lesson and we said, God bless you. Well, God has blessed us through Abraham's family line. He sent Jesus who died on the cross for our sins and rose again. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time for Sunday School. Goodbye. <laughs>